What's up, Faith Family? Jarvis Guy and the Boy Jarvis YT here, and welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Hot Wheels uh, Drifter from the 2022 Hot Wheels uh, Drift line of cars. Now, some of you longtime Diecast Reviews viewers may know that I've actually reviewed the Drifter before, specifically the, I think, 2015 variant, all the way back in, in Season 2. And I picked up this particular version of the Drifter. I think last year, maybe late last year, I, I can't exactly remember when, but I picked it up last year mostly because I really liked the design, you know, and I wasn't intending um, to review it again. But, you know, I looked back and I saw how, uh, honestly, the Drifter video was, was one of the most successful of season two. So I said, hey, you know what? Why not give it another shot and take a look at one of his more recent cousins? And I got to say, um, this this feels like a marked improvement from the first one. Uh, because with the original Drifta from 2015 that I reviewed, it had a it had a weird sort of I guess abstract design at the front. It was all these weird little greebles and stuff, weird drawings, and you know it wasn't you know entirely clear what the car wanted to be. There wasn't a, a real consistent theme with it. But with this one, it's <laughs> it's pretty obvious um, what they're going for, where their inspiration is. And it just, this overall feels like a better car in so many ways. So jumping right into it, um, a big part of this car's appeal is the decals. I mean, that's, that's the main thing they advertise on the box. And I think this is a huge step up from the 2015 version. As you can see right here, they have all these foreign characters. I, I assume it's Japanese because this very much feels like a whole, uh, Tokyo drift, uh, vibe that they're going for. But yeah, the decals are on point, sort of, abstract black marker thing in the background i'm not entirely sure what you call it when you have the main background and then you have a contrasting background that's sort of reverse stenciled in there I mean, uh, you saw a similar thing with the old aol logo they had before they truly lost relevance um but i think it's very well done here and you have the text uh, on top of it which is differentiated very well from the background that's very cool you have the green windows too which I mean, it makes sense because it contrasts with the overall uh, really nice light purple, uh, metallic purple paint job of the car. But man, I didn't think it would work this well. The windows just, just work so much better than you would expect. And you see a similar thing with the tires where they have two different colors for the tires. And I'm going to have to check and see if the original 2015 Drifta had the same thing. But right here is done extremely well. I mean, personally speaking, there's none of that uh, glossy rim job thing that I hate. So that's already a plus in my book. But you have the different types of wheels. And so it feels slightly disjointed, but the contrast and colors between the wheels and, and with the rest of the car, it really sells it. You know, it doesn't make it feel um, out of place. It feels like, like I said, a little disjointed, but it all comes together very well um i will say maybe there should have been some printing right here at the top but there's so much excellent printing everywhere else on the vehicle that i i can't even complain and another thing i can't complain about are the headlights and backlights because this car really doesn't need it it's already vibrant enough and i think it's earned the right to not have headlights or backlights because just because the rest of the paint job on the car is so excellently done you know i think really when it comes down to it uh, when we're talking about drifts to cars in general, uh, the only thing that they're really missing is a spoiler. But even then, I can do without it because this is just an excellent little vehicle. And it, it absolutely deserves your attention and it deserves your money. So in terms of recommendations, well, I just spoiled it in the previous sentence. Uh, this is a definite recommend. This particular permutation came out in 2022, so I don't think there's much of a scarcity factor, and it's a mainline car, so it won't hurt you to, to shell out at most $3 for this thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's very cool, especially when you compare it to the 2015 revision. This is just a, a cut above the rest. Some great design work, and it was all done incredibly well within the constraints of your, of your average Hot Wheels build quality. Very commendable vehicle. Definitely recommend. But either way, I think that's all I have to say about the Hot Wheels Drifter from the 2022 Hot Wheels Drift line of cars. I've been your host, Jarvis Gotten. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more diecast content. And as always, giggity, 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 goo. Stick around.